Good morning, and welcome to the first edition of Blue Gel Media's Photoshop and Web Design Tutorials. My name is Gene, I'm the Blue, Blue Gel Media Webmaster, and today I'm going to teach a very quick and easy trick to dodge and burn your photos without even having to touch the actual original. So basically we'll be doing all our editing on a separate layer which can then be disposed of, manipulated in any way you need without actually affecting your original photo. So today, as you can see here, we've got a photo which is a little too dark. We got way too much shadows on this face. So what we're going to do is go ahead and brighten her up with our dodging tools. First thing we're going to do actually it's our pseudo dodging tools because we're not actually going to use the dodge and burn tools which you would normally find over here. Nope, not today. Today we're going to do it in a separate layer using the paint tools. Okay, so come to your layers palette, add a separate layer, go up to your edit in the main menu, and then fill. You can also use shift F5 if you're on a PC. You'll come up with a dialog box and in the contents drop-down menu you'll want to choose 50% gray. Make sure the opacity is at 100% and click OK. Now, as you can see we've now got a new layer which is filled with a 50% gray. Next you're going to want to go ahead choose that layer and change your opacity or I should say your, your blending mode to overlay. Overlay is going to go ahead and remove everything in the photo which is 50% gray. So now we're back to seeing our photo however we still have that 50% gray layer over top of the image. Now go ahead and make sure you've chosen your arrow tool and we're going to go ahead on this layer and reduce the opacity down to about 20 to 25 percent so let's go ahead and drop it at 23 okay that's going to allow so we don't we have a little bit of play it doesn't things don't happen too harsh and too fast that way so now all you got to do is grab yourself a brush and go up to the brush palette menu choose an appropriate diameter let's see that's probably about right just the way it is actually okay and then lastly you'll choose a foreground color if you wish to lighten something you keep it white if you want to darken it make it black in our case, we want to lighten it up. So we choose white. We've got our opacity. Actually, I'm going to lower the opacity just a little more. Okay. And then, just run it along the picture. Now, because I have the opacity down so low, the change is subtle. But you'll see it here in a minute as we progress. Okay, there's one round. Let me do another batch. and it's slowly brightening. If we were to turn this up real high you'd see a much more drastic change. And we're getting it very bright now. So that looks pretty good. Okay, so now Maybe you didn't see the difference because it was kind of gradual as it happened, but we can go to our new 50% gray layer where our changes are being made, and if you just turn it off, boom, now you can really see the difference. Here's the original, and here's how we've brightened it. Original, and brighten. Now, let's just say you went too far. Let me go ahead and crank this up opacity crank it up oh now you can really see see how 
bad that is but let's just pretend we had done that and we would totally gone overboard you can go over here change your foreground color to black and just start painting in now clearly we don't want it to look like that but you get the point you can really darken things up in a hurry with the black paintbrush and if you tone down the opacity then it becomes better so you could paint this in paint it in and now we're practically back to the way it looked originally see very different maybe this is too bright maybe you want to kill these highlights a little bit so you can start painting over them and darken them up just a bit we're not getting a lot of effect out of that one but you get the point so that's all there is to it non-destructive dodge and burn incredible tool for brightening and darkening your skies photos like this where shadows have been cast or if you just want to make colors pop that'll do it for today just remember bluegelmedia.com for all your graphics and web design needs. We got over 9,000 Photoshop templates, web design templates. We got Flash extensions, Photoshop plugins. We got it all. Come check us out. Have a good day.